Hello, everyone. Welcome to Global Government News. Today is Monday, September 12, 2011, and I'm Darko. This is part three of this news bulletin, everyone. Uh, my website is www.ggnonline.com. That's ggnonline.com, and ddarko2012 is my YouTube channel. All right, take a deep breath. <laughs> Run out of breath there. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do this third video. I was going to originally only do two, but I had some interesting articles left just too many. It was like uh, 18 or 20 of them. So it's going to be a quick video, but maybe I'll have more time to talk and give you know some com commentary on that. Because a lot of times I kind of fly through the articles, don't have enough time to give my commentary, but I think you know the information to me is more important. Uh, so just get it out and my commentary is kind of, uh, um, you know, comes second. So that's kind of the, the goal here um, with the format. And I'm not sure what type of format I'm going to stick with, the two videos or the three videos, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or just every you know, three days, but uh, I like to keep it kind of spontaneous. So uh, it says here, Miami police chief suspended could be fired. And for what? Um, it says here that uh, he could be fired by the city commission in days or weeks. And it says the city manager, Johnny Martinez, wrote an email to commissioners at Exp Exp what is it? Exposito. So it almost looks like Esposito, but Exposito refused to obey orders regarding reducing overtime and personal moves. He said in an email he could not comment because of a gag order imposed by the city. Uh, but it goes on here and says that he embroiled in controversy uh, along with the mayor um, because uh, he interfered with raids on video gaming parlors. <laughs> raids on video gaming parlors. <laughs> Put the joysticks down! Get on the ground! <laughs> it's like, uh, oh my god, it says here, uh, they're going to steal their coins or little tokens. Exposito also faced criticism over a series of fatal police shootings of seven African-American suspects. So, moving on, Julius, uh, Julius, or Julius uh, Malema found guilty of hate speech. Oh, guilty. Guilty of hate speech for singing Shoot the Boer. It says here, uh, Julius uh, Malema, the outspoken president of South Africa's ANC Youth League, has been found guilty of hate speech for singing the apartheid era struggle song. And it goes on here uh, that uh, a judge ruled that song was, quote, derogatory, dehumanizing, and hurtful to the country's African's minority group and had no place in New South Africa, New South Africa, like the South America, South African Union. And it goes on here and says that uh, if he uh, sings it in the future, he faces criminal charges and potential prison spell. Quote, people must develop new customs and rejoice in a developing society by giving up old practices which are hurtful to members who live in the society with them. In other words, if you've been conquered, I, I, I think I'm getting this right here. Maybe I'm wrong because, um, uh, uh, you know, I don't have extensive um, knowledge on South Africa and apartheid. So, but, um, you know, yeah, it's talking about giving up old practices when living in a society with them. Well, who's them? Well, those are the people that were conquered them that came in there and uh, set up their own little... Um, their own little area and said, hey, we're not like you. We don't really belong here. We're not, you know, from here, but we're just going to come in here and just tell you to get get used to it. The enemy has become the friend, the brother. This new, uh, says this new approach to each other must be fostered. So you like that? Uh, uh, pretty interesting. It says the ruling uh, in the latest stream of setbacks uh, from Mr. Milena, who has won support among impoverished blacks with calls for mine nationalization. Hmm. So that means the, 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 the profits from the mines will actually go to the people. Hmm. And force land redistribution. So he's a bad, bad, evil man, just like Gaddafi. Uh, it says here, Bastrop residents must register before re-entry. So before Bastrop residents in Texas can re-enter after the... Uh, um, uh, basically, these fires, these, quote, wildfires, like I said, I, I kind of second-guess the wild part now. I think that they're actually set. Receive credentials to authorize their entrance to the residential area. So it goes in here, and it says the sheriff's office says the residents will need a photo ID to verify a residency. If a resident does not have a photo ID, Blue Bond Electric will provide staff with utility customer information so owners and renters can verify the residency. Re-entry passes will be one per vehicle. The passes should be placed on the windshield for easy identification by law enforcement pigs. Moving on here to a second follow-up article. Bastrop residents asked to return to fire-ravaged neighborhoods. So it looks here that there's a, a little bit of a scuffle going on. These residents want to get back in their homes and see what's gone, uh, what's up with their property. And it says here that uh, 
they've been living in hotels with their wife and children and uh, still can't return to the neighborhood to see what's left of his home. Uh, fire crews made progress, and it goes on here, and it says that uh, tension is flared during a news conference on Saturday as some residents shouted questions at county officials demanding to know when they could return to their homes or what remains of them in Bastrop area about 30 miles east of Austin. Don't forget, also in the hurricane, there was evacuations, not forced, but there was evacuations, and I think a lot of people were tricked or coerced into thinking that they were forced, so they just left. Um, but either way, there were holdouts, and I'm kind of interested because Clinton actually got kicked off kicked off a beach. And I asked if anybody knew about that, what's going on in, nor in Northeast Coast. Are they actually quarantining or sectioning off parts of the beach in the Northeast? If anybody knows that, please let me know so I can report on it. Because um, it sounds like it might be like the BP disaster where they had uh, con uh, basically private contractors of security uh, telling people to leave. Uh, it says here... That, um, the, that this is uh, day seven, tensions are high. Okay, now here comes some of the crazier news. Uh, now this is from 9-20-2010, uh, almost exactly a year ago. Uh, House Democrats passed bill to grill school children about sexual preference at the House Energy and Commerce Health Subcommittee hearing last Thursday. Well, that's last year. Uh, Democrats passed a bill to require federal health officials to question anyone seeking services from the Department of Health and Human Services, Community Health Services, or other problems about their sexual orientation and gender identity. So it says here, introduced by uh, Democrat Baldwin of Wisconsin, says H.R. 6109 requires HHS to obtain, retain, and analyze sexual identity information from patients who seek health care, including children. It says this, data, data is about, uh, this bill is about collecting data and no more, no less. Moving on uh, further here, children who seek uh, help at government-funded school health clinics would be asked whether or not they are gay, lesbian, bisexual, or if they know their gender identity. This is a more recent article, and it's from uh, August 25th, Elmhurst College to ask about sexual orientation. I covered this, but I'm just including it in with this segment because it's um, relative to it. Elmhurst College put a question on its admission application that won't appear on any other schools. Would you consider yourself to be a member of the LGBT, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender community? So it says uh, the question makes Elmhurst the first school in the country to ask applicants about their sexual orientation or gender identity. So uh, you can go in there and check that out. But it basically segues into this article, which is a recent one. Ten-year-old boy returns to school after summer holidays as a girl as he believes he's a trapped in a wrong in the wrong body. Sorry. Said boy had uh, to lie about Christmas presents and pretend he was given Action Man figures instead of Barbie dolls, branded a freak by cruel adults when he dressed in girls' clothes. And it says here that mother says uh, she knew something wasn't different or was different since he was two and a half years old. Now, what could this be? Well, uh, maybe it's education. Maybe we went to a sex ed and uh, they told them, you know what, you should explore. You don't know who you are yet. So we have HHS, Children Are Sexual Beings, from August 22nd. I've covered this before. And they basically are offering advice to parents and teens about sex education, including assurances that teens may, quote, experience with homosexuality as part of exploring their own sexuality and that masturbation be concerned only if the child seems preoccupied with it. And uh, it basically goes down here. And it said that uh, so Peter Spriggs, Senior Fellow for the Policy Studies at the Conservative Family Research Council, said that the uh, HHS website uh, does include some positive information, uh, but basically goes on there and says that it has no place on a federal uh, government website. And um, he goes on here and he says that, uh, quote, it is homosexual activists promoting the born gay can't change myth who all too often encourage young people to prematurely label themselves as gay, he said. He added that encouraging teens to become sexually active in any way is wrong. He said uh, experimentation, whether same sex or opposite sex, should be discouraged for all teens. He said sex is sex, whether experimental or not, where his uh, abstinence is abstinence, and the latter should be expected standard of behavior for unmarried teens. It says HHS website reassures teens and parents that having homosexual tendencies as a young person is common as teens sort through their emerging sexual feelings. 
Then he asks uh, HHS through his press office whether the information on the website encourages teens to be sexually active, including taking part in homosexual sex, and if it encourages parents to accept that behavior, the agency had not responded to the question. This is part of it. If your child doesn't ask questions about sex, don't just ignore the subject. When your child is about five, you can begin to introduce books that approach sexuality on a developmentally appropriate level. Said uh, they often have trouble finding the words, but many excellent books are available. So we have Sesame Street and same-sex marriage. This is from August 11th. It says a gay rights campaigner has called for best friends Bert and Ernie to get married to teach tolerance, prompting a response from Sesame Street workshops that the puppets do not have a sexual orientation. What do you think? And it says here, a mother who dressed her three-year-old daughter as pretty woman prostitute in hiding after receiving death threats. This is no joke, guys. This is like the third story in like a month and a half. Uh, it's pretty gross. So... And it goes in here and it says that Wendy Dick Dickey provoked outrage after her three-year-old daughter strutted along a catwalk in a costume that mimicked the outfit worn by Julie Roberts' prostitute character in, a woman, in the movie Pretty Woman. So um, you can go in there and check that out. I still have some articles to get to here. A lesbian foster couple put six-year-old boy in girls' clothes and post photos on Facebook. Boy removed from lesbian foster parents. Woman dressed him as a girl calls for inquiry into placement decision. So... And uh, it says here that a lesbian foster couple was dressed in girls' uh, clothes, and the humiliating pictures were posted on the couple's Facebook page. So adoption by same-sex couples is legal in 14 countries. And it says here a consensus has developed among the medical, um, psychological, and social welfare communities. All what? That's the uh, eugenics complex or... Um, the social engineers, the experts, so to speak, right? That children raised by gay and lesbian parents are just as likely to be well-adjusted as those raised by heterosexual parents. So there you go. And uh, it's just my personal opinion, dude, that you need a, a, a real family structure. You need a father figure. You need a female, that female, um, as I say, female energy, male energy, masculine energy. You need that. You need that structure growing up. Otherwise, I don't know. I'm just thinking that, uh, yeah, people should have their choice and there shouldn't be laws or anything like that um, to deter it. What I'm saying is that I think that what's going on now is the result of social engineering and that people should uh, uh, take a look at it before they just say, oh, I was born this way. Faith Hill and parents on trial for death of premature child who did not get medical attention, so parents belonging to Faith Healing Church will go on trial this week accused of rejecting medical care that could uh, save their newborn child. You know how I feel about this. Uh, I'm not against this. And it says here the Hickmans are members of the following followers of Christ in Oregon City Faith Healing Church that has a history of children dying from curable conditions because their parents rejected medical care. So, of course, the way they're wording this is, uh, is uh, totally one way, and they're against it. So that's how it's being written. And it says here that uh, his lungs were underdeveloped, and he lived just nine hours, and, and an autopsy determined the baby died of bacterial infection. So... But it goes down here and says that this will be the fourth couple or prosecuted in the past uh, two years in the county, according to the article. All right, so here it goes, and I'm just going to leave it here because I, I think I'm going to puke if I read anymore. Baby David's birth was attended by female church members who are considered midwives. <gasps> But it is unclear whether they have any medical education. Contraceptive pill interferes with woman's memory. So that those who take the contraceptive pill are interfering with the way that they remember information. Research suggests experts say women who take oral birth control uh, tend to remember different aspects of an incident from those with natural menstrual cycles. Birth control policy for wild horses questioned by rancher. The government performed a roundup of nearly 700 wild horses in southwest Wyoming in which the U.S. Bureau of Land Management injected six dozen mares with a fertility control drug before returning them to the open range. This is what I hate. Mark the start of a new federal policy that puts more emphasis on fertility control and less on horse removal. This is, you can do, you can apply this to humans too, right? Humans, it's more about fertility control than uh, actually removing and killing us and calling us, right? Like we're a horse. And then they have a rancher says, there's only so much grass produced and I have to control my cow numbers. One area ranching group has filed a suit to get BLM to reduce the number of wild horses north of Rock Springs to what they considered ideal, zero. And my thing about this is these ranchers, I'm not saying all of them, and maybe this is a serious problem, but either way, uh, these guys, a lot of these ranchers are rich. These guys have a lot of money. They have big, huge mansion cabins with spas and stuff. And, uh, you know, you know, I'm sorry. I don't feel sorry for you. Just, you know, be happy with your, you know, make a smaller farm or something. I don't know. But uh, 
Either way, I'm going to move on. Dog on, careless Petco store accused of leaving animals to die during a devastated flood. Then mass boy barred from kindergarten due to burns. And they said it's because of concerns about how his presence might affect other children at kindergarten. So moving on, double whammy of wet summer and longer seasons. Why this autumn could be the worst allergies ever. Talk a later fall. Um, allergy season becoming longer and they're blaming on Global warming, I blame it on chemtrails. U.S. scientists claim to be capable of predicting climate 16 months forward. That's because they make the weather. This is GGN. I'm Darko. Thank you.